Hi everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I hope your week's gone well. If you're new here, I'm Melanie and I do food hauls and a few other bits and pieces. This is my weekly food haul which will be spread across two videos. I'm not editing at the moment so I have to do it in two parts. I have all the chilled stuff except for a few things I forgot to put in out and the rest is in the fridge which I'll need to get out to film after I put all this away. So there will be a part two that will go up in a few days time. So there is a couple of things missing. Um, from Asda there's a four chicken drumsticks from the rotisserie and some peri peri fries. They were shared between two of us. The chicken were good, the peri peri fries were a little bit too soft. I did put them in the air fryer but they didn't crisp up in the time that I had to do with them in. I think if I give them a couple more minutes, I did them for free, I think if I give them five they might be a bit more crispier and the more of them that we ate, the spicier they got but they were good. Um, there were no like um, sausage baps, sausage rolls, well there were sausage rolls, um, well there was pork and schwitzel flavour. There was a couple of pasties but I went for the chicken. What else is missing? I feel like there's something else missing and I'm about to forget. What was it? Oh, in Aldi they do those, is it Wittards that do those little packets where it's like a, a snack and it's got like dried fruit and nuts in? Well Aldi had the wrong version on the till and I got the cranberry and something, not walnut, um, it won't be peanuts, I don't like peanuts. Anyway, I only had a bit of them, they're in my car, but what I had was good. Um, but I think everything else is here. Now I can't get all the as the shopping out. In fact, I could have moved the Aldi stuff up. So when I do the second part, there'll be maybe six items that I couldn't fit out on with it, if that makes sense. But firstly, I got this doormat. Oh, well, actually, I'll tell you how much everything came to. So as they came to 60... Eight, sixty-eight, seventy-nine. 68 79 sorry I was just I got distracted by some I did do the charity donation I did the smallest one every penny counts you know map people I see that don't do it and then Aldi was 56 23 but there was two things for the food bank now I have noticed not as many people are putting stuff in the food bank when I used to go on a Friday it used to be absolutely I'd say between a third and absolutely full, like, and most weeks that I've been recently, there's been like two or three items in, and I know it's cost a living crisis, but you can get like a tin of the cheapest beans, I like something like twenty three p, and there's things that are cheaper than that, so don't walk around and think oh they need this this and this, like get the cheapest thing because they don't just get that when they go to the food bank, they get things that are to like make a meal with or more me more than one meal so you get a tin of peas which are 30 some at pea that will go towards something else that someone else will put in and then like three things that someone else might put in so don't think you have to spend a lot because you don't because i spent under a pound and i'll tell you what i got because i've actually never seen this in there before but i got the cheapest pasta sauce everyday essential one now normally the cheapest one that i've seen that they've had in is the next one up the Aldi own brand, the Aldi brand, but not the cheapest that Aldi do, and then they have one that's more expensive than that. So when I've put pasta sauce in before, because I've done it a couple of times, I have had the one that's slightly more expensive because I've never seen this one, and this is what made me do what I've done, because I was going to put some in but I didn't know what, but I've put pasta and pasta sauce in, and the pasta sauce was only forty seven p. So see what I mean? Like that can go towards. A food parcel that they'll get from the food bank so they'll get given pasta with it and if they're a single person that bag of pasta could do them up to six meals depending on how much they eat maybe more and that pasta sauce if they don't go too heavy with it you could get a good three servings out of it for if it's me because I don't like a lot of sauce um, and then the pasta was 41p so for less than 90p that's two good things so don't feel you have to spend a lot of money. So the thing that you're looking at is a doormat. So I saw that they had the Grinch one advertised. It came out yesterday. 
in the one that I went to there was no Grinches literally there was a massive pile of them and it got really hard to go through them because the lower down you go the heavier the pile becomes so I gave up I've got knee to the bottom I couldn't get any further um, but they had one that said Merry Christmas which was almost the one I got they had one with elf do you know like elf feet stood on it they had a couple of designs but I just went for this it's got just basic Christmas trees all over it's an outdoor one it's going to go outside my front door the one that's out the front door does have like rub around it um, it's been there ages that's just going to go in the garage whilst this is at the front door for now until the end of Christmas um, but yeah it's just a little touch and it's not too in your face and it's definitely not tacky so then we're going on to eggs. I think we've got one left. I had an egg and toast soldiers last night. And by the way, sorry about the lights. It's half past four. I'm having to use artificial lighting and it's not great. So there is one of them in the fridge. I forgot to put the one in. And I remember thinking, I'm sure I got two. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I did. Because this week I've bought um, whey protein powder to make smoothies with. Um, because I've not had any since earlier this year. So I don't need as much protein pouches as I did because I'm going to be having that much more. Um, this is for... Um, the person that I live with, you all know who it is, um, to take to the office in case one day they miss breakfast or they've had breakfast and they feel hungry. They're like 43p or something. So, not last week, the week before, I found I had one of these in the cupboard and it was in the old packaging because this is in the paper packaging. And do you know when you're hungry and you don't want anything sweet and you don't want a big meal and you don't know what you want? It was one of those days I was like, do you know what? I love the mugshot ones, but I don't think I've ever tried the Audi ones. And I think that's why I had it in the cupboard to try. So I had it, really liked it. And I've been meaning to pick some up since and I keep forgetting. Um, this packaging is definitely very recent because I sometimes pick them up for the other person. Um, not me. But... What I want to do is compare them to Alan, the branded ones, mug shots. Are they called mug shots? Um, and I was going to get some and I was in Asda and they're 70 something pH and these are 40 something. But you can get five for three pounds and I was like, do you know what? I'll get them next week because I've already got three. One of them's not for me but I'm going to have... Like I've had the roast chicken before but it's been such a long time. Like you can't go wrong with anything smart and herb but you can with chicken. So I'm intrigued to see what they're like. Picked up the teriyaki this week. Then Brussels sprouts, they were in the Super 6. Um, coated chilli peanuts. I got them barbecue ones last week. I've not asked if they like them, but they ate them. But then again, they're the type of person, if they don't like them, they won't waste them. Like, they would only waste them if they absolutely hated it. Pack of them, they're actually gone down a little bit so it actually makes them cheaper than the branded ones i feel like i have at least one pack of branded ones left and maybe one pack and i mean individual pack i don't mean six pack so i've got them them 10 out of 10 because i got two packs absolutely love them highly recommend them if you love a honey barbecue flavored anything they are good i've still got the chili ones left i only opened them yesterday so i've still got five packets because sometimes you want a different flavour. Do you know what? I'm craving salt. I'm going to get Chris and I didn't get any. Um, they're not for me. I, do you know what? I probably wouldn't mind them. Um, but yeah, they're not for me. Cheese bakes. Something else I forgot to put in the fridge. So I can't have that till tomorrow because I prefer them chilled. Um, and it's not hot in here, by the way. It's like, so it's not warm, but it's not cold. Black beans. I'm making a recipe this week. Can't remember what, what it's called. It's a chicken and rice one pot meal by Tame and Twins. I think it's, I, th oh, I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna be having it for two main meals and maybe one lunch and then one ma main meal for someone else. So yeah, just couldn't, fit, I couldn't like, I was looking at the recipes last night and I've had a lot of the one pot ones that I would want. And then some of them are a bit complicated with lots of ingredients that I don't have because I basically didn't have to buy too much for the thing. I didn't need to buy black beans, but I'll basically end up using the tin that I've got. So it's basically replacing that. I've only got one tin of chopped tomatoes. I can't remember the recipes one or two, so I needed to stock up on chopped tomatoes anyway, so I would have bought them. And I've got all the spices. So I think the main thing I needed was chicken, and which I would get anyway. And before I forget to show these, these were in like the bakery section so they have some flavours they have black forest christmas tree cake 
I mean, it's not going to be Christmas cake, it's just a cake that's shaped like a Christmas tree. And they're the ginger one, and I didn't really fancy the ginger one, I don't mind ginger. And I got this, these were a pound on Sunday. I ended up with one from Aldi, not Aldi, Lidl, 60p, same size, looks like the same quality, but obviously I'm not in Lidl, and I wanted it for my breakfast either tomorrow or Sunday, in the air fryer, 170, well 160 for 3 or 4 minutes, um, they milk little bars, you know what, I got the Marvellous Creations dupe from Aldi last week, I'm not a fan of the chocolate, now I'd have it, but I don't love it, like I am fussy when it comes to chocolate, and I... Most of the time, I only like dairy milk. <laughs> Don't know why I said dairy then. Um, and then some of the more expensive brands, things that cost a little bit more. I don't like Nestle. Um, so I didn't love the chocolate. It wasn't creamy enough for me. But I've had the entire bar. I like the other things that are in it. It gives it a flavour, but I don't love the chocolate. But I would 100% have it again. But I do prefer the original. So if I had the choice between the original and that, I would get the original. But obviously that is much cheaper than the original. Six chocolate rice cake. I've had one of them um, before I walk the dog. Six strawberry cheesecake bars. I only get them when they're half price. Did take one of them but it's still in the bag. It's actually still in the car because I worked in my car and I was running late. And I mean, they had to go somewhere. They had my car. They could have took my car. I think if I would have been a few more minutes, I think they would have gone. Um, which is okay. But I've left my stuff in the car. Um, anchor, butter, oh we've got a pack already, do you know what, we normally go through a full pack, well not me, but they've not had as much butter this week, so we'll run ahead so that can go in the fridge, because the other ones aren't ready to go in the things, so I have changed it this week, well last, well, this, last week I didn't get any, so they got a pack of four from Aldi, Lidl, um, and it was pre-packed ones, I don't know what the brand is, I don't, I've not even asked them what they thought of them, but they've still got two left, but we're going to have to have them over the weekend if they're okay, I want a pack of the white ones for myself, but I didn't want to buy a pack, you know what, I should have got a pack, but it doesn't matter, so I've got them these, now there was two versions of these, there's the ordinary ones, and there's the Lancashire ones, I do not know what the difference is, all I know is when I was younger, like, you know, 10, 11, 12, I absolutely loved the white ones of these. I've actually had these as well when I was younger as well. But my parents used to go to like a bakery or something and I'd always have one of these and like I'd have it with soup or sometimes I'd have like a sandwich from the bakery but a lot of the times I'd have the bread roll with the soup and I absolutely love the bread roll or they'd buy the bread rolls to make sandwiches at home and I absolutely love them. I have had them since but not for a long time. And for some reason, I'm craving the white ones. Now, they normally go through four, unless they have soup. And I think they've got... I don't know if they've got any soup left. But anyway, I potentially won't get any one of them. And they're 25p more, and they're slightly smaller. But I thought they'd like something different. Because they've had that same one for weeks or well, months. And you get bored, don't you? So, I've got tea cakes, fruity tea cakes, because I've still got some crumpets left. Now, she's run out of her... Well, she's got maybe six little ones left of the what are they called what is the brand called wag she's still got well all she's got left is the giant one she got from aldi like a month or so ago and that's nearly empty and i went to get some from the wag brand and they've gone up from they used to be 99p they went up to 1.5 they're now 130 and I'm like, I'm not paying 130 because she would have needed a couple of bags. I mean, it's fine, but it does add up. And like, if I didn't spot anything else, I would have just got a two different flavours. But what made me look around to begin with was her favourite, which is the peanut butter and banana ones. They were completely out of stock. Spotted these, £1.9, because these have gone up to £1.9. But it's free for £3. So she's got these, has a, a little treats and these i mean she's still got a full pack of these and i've just opened another pack so she's ahead on them but i'll keep her ahead simply because there's been times which you know if you watch my videos where they've been completely out of stock of them that's what she's been having for breakfast oh well after a morning walk these are the large ones i mean she should be having medium but these keep her quiet for another minute and um, if you've got a husky you'll know how much that minute means <laughs> Passata, I've got one in the cupboard, but the recipe needs a passata, so it's basically replacing what I'm going to use out the cupboard. 
I couldn't tell you what the brand is in the cupboard. It's potentially, I mean, I'm looking and I can't see it. Oh, it looks like it's at um, Aldi. A bag of potatoes, a bag of carrots, the slow cooker's coming out. Basically, <laughs> moving the kitchen around. It's going where the air fryer's going. The air fryer's going where the kettle is. The kettle's going where the mini deep fat fryer's going. The um, blender's getting moved and I've got another appliance that I got for my birthday. Um, that's going to be put out as well. I mean, I've had it with um, Swede. Bananas, forgot what bananas were called then. So, mine is very low. I don't know if I'm going to get through the week. Some weeks I barely touch it. Some weeks I do have quite a bit. Um, it was full price, but I didn't want to get the Asda's on because it's not as good. I, yes, it is cheaper, but, you know, I knew I'd be below my shopping limit anyway. So, I got that because I do prefer it. Limes, they are cheaper than Aldi. Aldi's have gone up to, like... Is it even one fifteen or one nineteen? Yes, you get five and you only get four in Asda, but Asda's are slightly bigger. They are an offer for eighty five or something, so it does work out cheaper that way. Sweet corn because it's going in the recipe that I'm making by taming twins. I feel like I have one of them in the cupboard, so it's basically replacing what I'm going to use. Oat cheesecakes. She's not had these for a couple of weeks because they've not had them in. They had them on offer. They kept getting sold out. I kept getting the other cheaper ones. They're not as good. So now they're back in stock. She's back on them. I finally, do you know what? I've not had Americana. Well, I mean, a zero, but months. I had the Audi one. I'm currently using the Asda one, which is getting low. This was on offer. They were all on offer, like the decaf. There's another, it's not Americano, there's another one. And then there's one called Instant Americano. They're like 3 85 so I've got one. Um, I prefer this. The packs of four gone up to 3 50 This is actually gone up a little bit. But I've still got three of the new ones, you know, the peach and orange ones. Still got three of them. So that's why I got that. Now I'm a Ribena fan. I love blackcurrant anything. I almost got a Ribena. The smallest one was £2. None of them are on offer. And then they have this one and then they have the orange one that's got passion fruit and something. And why do I feel like I've had this and didn't like it? I don't know. I don't mind rimped whole. I've not had it for a very long time because, like I said, I love Ribena. This was on offer. I was like, do you know what? I love this. I've still got the apple and strawberry squash from Aldi, which I love. Like, I've got loads of that. But, you know, some days you just want something slightly different. And I thought, even though I don't like raspberry, like, I might like that. I've got two of them. They're still 60 something pink because they work. They went up to 80 something. Um, I got these from Aldi in case they didn't have them in Asda. Um, the 425 in Aldi, the 450 in Asda, so there is a little bit of a saving. I really want to get a 30 pack because obviously it's going to last me a month. Well, it's going to last me more than a month because, well, I didn't have them on Fridays, but I've stopped buying the little bottles, so I do now have them on Fridays, so it won't. A 30 pack used to last me a lot longer than a month, but now they don't. So last time I got that other brand, Cook Something. I mean, I'm looking in the cupboard, but I can't see them, so I can't tell you. But if you watch my food hauls, you'll know which one I mean. And they're 2 25 for four, or 70 something a can, 75 I wanna say. And I do prefer a more expensive chopped tomato. I even prefer a more expensive passata, but it does get pricey, although I don't have it that often. I used to go through lots of pasta and chopped tomatoes. But the cheap ones, sometimes when you cook food, it's quite sharp because you, the tomatoes, there is a difference, like, there is. Um, but, obviously, if I have to get cheap tomatoes, I get them. Like, it doesn't bother me that much, but I do prefer a more, people would call this premium one. Now, this was an offer for 2 50 so it's only 25p more than the other brand. I think it's called Cucatalia uh, or something. Um, and they're quite good. Like, I don't mind them. I'd have, happily have them again. And if these weren't on offer, that's what I would have got. But I do love Napolina. There is a difference. I could taste a difference if you've ever had them. You know, some of you might not be able to taste a difference. But me, personally, I can. So I got one in out there because they're cheaper. The one seventy nine which obviously is a nice little bargain and I thought I'll just get one and see how much they are in Asda even if they're full price in Asda like obviously every pound 
any every penny counts towards whatever rewards are on the card. I think I'd spend over fifteen as the to get fifty p. I mean, it's not great, but it's something, isn't it? And I did. I spent sixty something. In fact, when I was walking around, I kept looking at the trolley, thinking this is going to be really expensive. Um, and it was seventy. I thought it was going to be more. So things are coming down. All the little bits. And they're making a big deal about it. Everyone's like, used to be, now this. Instead of just lowering it and not mentioning it, like, you know, when they put the price up, they never mention it. They're making a big deal about it, but it's not many products. So, anyway, I went in Asda, and it was two for £3. So, it is actually cheaper in Asda at the moment. So, there is another two. So, I got three in total because I saved money in the long run. How many of them did I get? Oh, I don't know, because there was already one on the floor. I think I got four. Yeah, I got four. Four of them. So that is everything that I got in this part anyway. I don't know if you can hear, but the oven's on and I'm going to put in the exact same thing that I had last week because it was so good. Um, and when I've had that, I will be putting the rest of the shopping out, well, back out, and I will then show you what I've got. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification button. That way when I upload, you'll get an alert to let you know that I've uploaded. I hope you all have a wonderful week or day, depending on when you watch this. And thank you so much for watching.